the book of Exodus chapter 7. My English is very bad, but have mercy and compassion with me. And God bless you and your family. Have amazing, wonderful, great, happy and blessed day. Let's go. And the Lord said unto Moses, See, I have made thee a God to Pharaoh, and Aaron, the brother, shall be the prophet. Thou shalt speak all that I command thee, and Aaron, the brother, shall speak unto Pharaoh, that he send the children of Israel uh, out of his land, and I will harden Pharaoh's heart and multiply my sins and my wonders in the land of Egypt. But Pharaoh shall not hearken unto you, that I may lay my hand upon Egypt and bring forth mine arms and my people, the children of Israel, of out of the land of Egypt by great judgments. And the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord when I stretch forth mine hand upon Egypt and bring out the children of Israel from among them. And Moses and Aaron did as the Lord commanded them, so did they. And Moses was for score years old, and Aaron for score and the end. Wait, wait. <laughs> and three years old when they spike unto Pharaoh. And the Lord spike unto Moses and unto Aaron, saying, When Pharaoh shall speak unto you, saying, Show a miracle, miracle, miracle for you, then thou shalt say unto Aaron, Take the rod and cast it before Pharaoh, and it shall become a serpent. And Moses and Aaron went in unto Pharaoh, and they did so as the Lord had commanded. And Aaron cast down his rod before Pharaoh and before his servants, and it became a serpent. Then Pharaoh also called the wise men and the sorcerer, sorcerers. Now the magicians of Egypt, they also did in like manner which their enchantments, enchantments. For they cast down every man his rod, and they become serpents. But Aaron's rod swallowed up their rods, and the Hardened, hardened, Pharaoh's heart that he hearkened not unto them, as the Lord had said. And the Lord said unto Moses, Pharaoh's heart is hardened. Re, he refused to let the people go. Get thee unto Pharaoh in the morning. Lo, he goeth out unto the water, and thou shalt stand by the rivers, brink against he come, and the rod which was turned to a serpent shall thou take in thine hand, and thou shalt sigh unto him, The Lord God of the Hebrews hath sent me unto thee, saying, Let my people go that they may serve me in the wilderness. And behold, 
e teto do oldest not here to say the Lord in this thou shalt know that I am the Lord the hold I will smite with the rod that is in mine hand upon the waters which are in the river and they shall be turned to blood and the fish that is in the river shall die and the river shall stink and the Egyptians shall lot to drink of the water of the river and the Lord spake unto Moses say sigh unto Aaron take the rod and stretch out the hand upon the waters of Egypt upon their streams upon their rivers and upon their ponds and upon all their poles of water water or water <laughs> I don't know and they may become blood and that there may the blood throw out all the land of Egypt may be blood throw out all the land of Egypt both these vessels of the wood dude and in vessels of stone and the Moses and Aaron did so as the Lord commanded and he lifted up the road and smote the waters that were in the river in the sink of Pharaoh and in the sea of his servants and all the waters that were in the river were turned to blood And the fish that was in the river died, and the river stunk, and the Egyptians could not drink of the water of the river, and there was blood drawn out all the land of Egypt. And the magician of the Egypt did so with their enchantments, and Pharaoh heart was hardened neither did he hearkening hearken hearkening unto them and the lord had said and pharaoh turned and went into his house neither did he set his heart to to this also and all the egyptians digit round about the river for water to drink for they could not drink of the water of the river. And seven days were fulfilled. After that, the Lord had smitten the river. <sighs> My English is very bad, <laughs> but have mercy. Compassion for me and God bless you and your family. Have a great, amazing, happy day next chapter this chapter 8 and bye god bless